Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is May 8744. Today, guys, we're doing my UEFA Euro 2024, my qualifying playoffs. We're going to go ahead and go over all three paths path A, path B, path C. We're going to obviously give a semifinal predictions. And yeah, I want to know what you guys think in the comments below, man. Let me know your predictions in the comments below. And please run a like and subscribe. Helps the channel grow. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with League A first, man. Or just say path A first. Uh, so we got Wales versus Finland. Wales, man. Um, they were in a difficult group. Let's keep it as let, let's be real here. You know, they were in a group of Croatia and Turkey, and they they ultimately fell short in the end and missed out. You know, and I think players to look out for for this team are Hennessy, obviously. They obviously got Harry Wilson, and obviously got Brennan Johnson. I think this Wales team is good at home, and they should be able to play against a Finland team that. Quite frankly, honestly, guys, Finland have been awful on the road. I have not been impressed with Finland at all. Players that come to mind are obviously Puki, that's the most notable. Kamara, of course, and Redeki. And yeah, I, I just think that Finland for me, yeah, I, I, I think it's too hard. I'm going to say Wales triumph here. Um, as for a score, uh, probably like a 1 0, I think I'll say. I think I'll say a 1 0 Wales. The Poland versus Estonia. Poland, I, as bad as Poland have been, guys. Poland should be destroying Estonia without any uh, question. Estonia, for me, were one of the worst teams in the qualifiers. And yeah, Estonia didn't even deserve to be here. They're only here because of their Nations League uh, position. So yeah, Poland should be able to get the job done. I'm going to say Poland wins 3-0 against Estonia. Moving on to path B, we got here Bosnia, Herzegovina versus Ukraine. I'm sorry, man. Bosnia was very disappointing. For a nation that... Is that hasn't made a major tournament besides the World Cup is disappointing. And to finish behind Iceland is disgraceful. And they have some good players. Obviously, Jekko comes to mind. Bionic as well. Probably their most two notable players. And I'm sorry. Bosnia, I'm just not impressed with. Ukraine, on the other hand, I'm looking impressed. Mikhail Modric is a good talent. Then obviously, you got Zinchenko. You know, then um, uh, you also have uh, Lunin in goal. Lunin should be called up now, honestly. I don't know if he's going to get called up. And I think for me, Ukraine are the overwhelming favorites. I think Ukraine's got this. I'm going to say Ukraine wins this 3-1 on the road against Bosnia. Israel versus Iceland. Israel, we know how good this team is. Um, obviously got some good players. You know, Zahivi comes to mind. And Israel's a team that is very, they can attack. They can score a lot of goals and concede a lot. This is a team that's very much a very open, entertaining team. Whereas Iceland, on the other hand, have been dreadful. I'm sorry, Iceland have been terrible in the last couple of years. They have regressed. This is not the same team as they used to be. They have lost some big of the, some some of their best notable players, and yeah, Sigurdsson's not there anymore. And these kind of players, and yeah, just Iceland has just regressed. Obviously, Israel will not be playing at home for obvious reasons, and yeah, Israel should be able to get this job done. I'm gonna say Israel wins two 0 against Iceland. Moving on to the path C, we got here is Georgia versus Luxembourg. Now, keep in mind for Georgia guys. Uh, obviously, Kavicha Kavaskalia is suspended for this game. One of the most crucial players for the team. He is not available for this game, which is a big blow for them. I still think, though, Georgia have enough quality within the team. Obviously, the goalkeeper um, is actually pretty good. I believe he's the North Macedonia goalkeeper. No, sorry, not, not North Macedonia. The Valencia goalkeeper. Uh, Mamar Shivili. I'm probably butchering his name. Um, he, he's a great, solid goalkeeper. And obviously... For Luxembourg, this is a good team. You know, Anthony Morris, you know, one of the most notable players. And um, they would have some good players. And I think for Luxembourg, man, this could be an interesting one. I think, for me, Pat C is the really most interesting because I feel like this is going to be a tight one. And I'm going to say Georgia triumphs on penalties. I'm going to say Georgia wins on penalties. I just think that, for me, Georgia's goalkeeper is really solid, and I really rate him highly. And I think he's the reason why that they're going to win because, for me, I think Luxembourg, for me, they're just going to miss out. I just think they're going to miss out. Although, to be fair, they've only, only lost one away game. Wait, and that was obviously against Portugal. So, you got to give them credit. And then, finally, moving on to the final game we got here is Greece versus Kazakhstan. Greece, obviously, we got we know how incredible their striker options are. You got Pavelis, you got Geokamis. Like, those two strikers are, alone are just amazing, you know? And defensively, you know how good they are. Kazakhstan, on the other hand, have been surprising the, the people. They have been showing resurgent signs the last couple of years and how they improved, you know. And the fact that they got to a playoffs is very, very impressive for the position they were in a few years ago where they were getting demolished by France. 
Unfortunately, though, for Kazakhstan, I do have George, uh, I do have Greece to triumph here. I just think Greece, for me, is just a better team. They have more well-rounded players. They're more of a complete team, and I just think Greece is a very solid team. So I'm going to say Greece wins 2-0 against Kazakhstan. So those are my uh, Euro 2024 playoff predictions, guys, semifinals. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. And please also let me know. Uh, uh, please let me know if I missed any major talking points because I, sh I probably did, man. This was a quick fire video, man. And so, yeah, please run a like and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.